Hi, this is Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to test the Baker Broil heating element on your oven to see if it is good or bad. To test your heating element, you'll first need to disconnect power by unplugging or turning off the breaker to the oven. Next, you'll need to either remove the element from the oven or access the element from the rear and disconnect the wires to the element. Before testing the element, we recommend to do a visual inspection of the element. The element should not have any breaks, bulges, or holes in the heating coil. The element should lay flat and not have any areas of the element that droop down. If you notice any defects in the element, then it should be replaced. When a heating element goes bad, you will not always see a defect in the heating coil, so it is important to test the element using a multimeter to do an ohm test or continuity test. Oven heating elements come in all shapes and sizes, but they can all be tested using this same process. If your multimeter has the option, turn your meter to the continuity setting. Place one of each of the probes on each of the element's wire terminals. If the element is good, you'll hear an audible beeping noise, and if the element is bad, the meter will not make any noise. If your multimeter does not have a continuity setting, then you can do an ohm test. If you have an auto-ranging multimeter, then turn it to the ohm setting. If you have a manual ranging multimeter, then you'll need to turn the meter to the lowest ohm setting. On a good element, you should get an ohm rating of approximately 10 to 75 ohms. If the display on the meter does not change, or if your ohm rating is far off from that, then you have a bad heating element. Here I have two elements. By visually looking at them, you cannot tell which one is good and which one is bad. By doing a continuity test, we can easily find that this element is good and this element is bad. If you find that you have a bad heating element and you need to purchase a new one, you can purchase one from our online store by clicking the link in the description below. Be careful when shopping around for oven heating elements, as many stores sell lower quality aftermarket heating elements. You can be assured when you purchase from Parts Doctor that you will receive a new OEM heating element. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more appliance repair videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. You can also stay up to date by liking us on our Facebook page and following us on Twitter.